to the den of evil. What is this, corn? Not sure this means much. Okay, well, let's open up this one. Ooh. Ah, my goodness gracious. Ha! Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> well, Roy, you don't jump at all, so what does that make you? Jerk. Let's check the flower. Uh-oh. Whoa! Now we're getting somewhere. That's pretty darn elaborate. Some CSI nonsense here. Okay. More soup? No one keeps a secret stash of soup. Count me what's inside. Press A to use a can open. You hungry or something, Phelps? That sounds like a pig. That's weird. Oh yes. Broccoli. No, just kidding, guys. I'd say that's pretty good value for twelve cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Rut row. Rut row. Rut row. Rut row. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. A ledger. Love ledgers. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Let's see. Tijuana? Puerto Escondido? Tijuana? Tijuana? I think they're going to Tijuana. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. It's always 50 pounds, Those too. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right, fine, Roy boy. Hey, it's time to go. Where are we headed? The little blue tree. It's like a Dora the Explorer adventure. Um, we can go to the factory, the market. I... Let's go straight to the factory. Let's just let's just let's just take it right to the source, Roy. Take him right, right to the head. Blow to the head. Blow to the face. Blow below the belt, blow everywhere. Yeah, that's... That is what they all say. Okay, sorry. We're uh, gonna ride in the court. That's fine. The sees us driving around in this well, good foreshadowing, Roy. Okay. Whoa, magic door closed. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. So this case can be Confidential uh -oh. magazine is right. And Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot tempered son of a bitch. What I was trying to say before Roy interrupted me was that this game or this case can be played within the game, like if you download it and then you're going through Vice, it'll just interact or act as a, a, a portion of the game. You'll just play the case and you won't even know it's DLC. Or if you're like me and have already been in the game. And then you can play it afterwards, but it can be enjoyed two ways for the price of one, which is nice. I, like one of the uh, earlier DLC cases, I'm totally blanking on the name of it, and um, it's the one with the actress. I don't even remember the name, but uh, it, I didn't even know that was DLC because I'd bought the, the pass before, and then it just popped up in the middle of when I was playing. I was like, sweet, that's awesome! Parnell Soup Factory, 1051 AM. That's a pretty billboard there. Can I have it? All right, boys. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. It's a pretty factory. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Follow the creepy yellow lady with creepy hair upstairs and her high heels. Click, 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 You just clack. wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. No, Roy. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. Roy, he shut up! saying goodbye, but he loves watching Oh, my movies. God. Roy, you are a nuisance you that I'm rest, glad Roy. I don't have to put up with, if but for one more case. If you Mr. Parnell, Doris, they're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Whoa, Doris is kind of a rude one. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. 
Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Employee records. Another ledger. It's blue as well. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Do 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 Turn the page. Oh, do 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 What was that guy's name? Juan Garcia Cruz. What about? It was EJ, the guy who was mailing the mailing. Let's turn back the page. There is no... There is Jorge Garcia Cruz. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Okay, what about the EJ guy? Oh, or not. Okay. Tell us about the soup cans. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Five intuition points? Holy cow! The heck happened? I had zero when I beat the game, and they give me five. Sweet, okay. What do we have here as, as clues? The silver dollar. We got the soup cans. So, uh, you liar. Quit lying, Parnell. How could the cans be coming off the line, sealed without your knowledge? You're the kingpin here. You want to make an accusation like that, son? You better have some goddamn proof. Well, I don't really have proof that he's the kingman, so we'll back off. Sorry. You don't ask, you never find out. Well, let's use our intuition point. Why not? Might as well. Remove... Oh, oh. Axe community. Okay. Hmm. Doubt and truth. I'm going to go with doubt because he looks like he's a smug guy with a green bow tie, and I hate bow ties. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Check mark, boom baby. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. It's a weird thing to say to someone. I don't think sales look like they're doing so well, partner. Hi, partner. You're being economical with the truth, Parnell. You uh, can't keep the business afloat, so you've turned to dope. Would you like to prove that I'm involved in this scam? No, I can't. I'm a legitimate it, businessman. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. All right, let's look at this guy. He looks flustered. He looks nervous. But I guess he could be telling the truth. He just seems kind of not nervous, but he's not moving his eyes really at all. Let's go, uh, let's go intuition. Why not? Yeah, doubt. That's what I thought. Blah. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. That is a lot of minestrone. Holy cow. Tell us about the Cruz brothers. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Really? Uh, I have nothing to prove. I mean, his silver dollar, that doesn't really do anything. I guess we just doubt the guy. Right, 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 doubt. Oh, let's just doubt, I guess. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. 
You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Oh, another one. We're three for three. Good work. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. I don't see why that would be a lie. Um, we could use, let's, uh, let's just keep rolling with the intuition. Hmm, mm hmm, I guess we go with true. This is a tough one here. Do we go with the audience who 74.7% say truth, or do we go with the minority who say doubt? Oh, boy, we've doubted him every single time. I kind of want to doubt him. The community, 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 community. Community feels like it's a truth. I sort of feel like it's a doubt. He's kind of fidgety and jittery. Let's go. I'm going to take a chance here and go with doubt. Why not? Do you mind? If I make a mistake, I apologize. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell. And you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. Whoops. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Now explain to me how I'm supposed to know the difference between a, uh, a truth and a doubt. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. When his face looked the same, his tone was the same, Tell me how I'm supposed to know. And I probably should have gone to the audience, the 75% or blah, 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 whatever. But I like to be a rebel. So we're going to be rebellious and get it wrong to make it more lifelike and realistic. Because no investigator detective is perfect. 